is this? Oh, okay. Okay. Wait. Here we go. Hi. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today's Thursday, January 16th, and it was a good day. I took three trades. Two of the three were in the green, and I was out. I spent a total time behind my computer screen, 20 minutes in the market. I spent five minutes just in the trade, so in five minutes, I managed to eke out $87 in profit, and I was out for the day and on to work. So let's go ahead and see how these trades rolled out. I am in my first trade of the day, ticker symbol SIG. Has this huge gap up. I'm risking about $100 on this trade with 100 shares. What I'm looking forward to do is, well actually here, uh, my entry point is right here at this green line. My stop loss is right here at this white line. It pulled back some and it looks like there's still some bullish momentum so I'm going to follow this upwards. Um, with this volume kind of moving in this direction see if uh, we can get some good momentum up because it's opening bell I'll be probably pretty quick um, tight with my tight with my stop keeping an eye on the one minute chart here I was stopped out right there. Um, that was interesting. I kept my I kept my stop loss pretty tight, and I missed out on this run up. I always do that. Nervous Mike always comes in and gets nervous. The day. I mean, it could have been a lot more if I wasn't moving so quick. But this is what happens with me. Okay, I'm in a trade here, ticker symbol V, has this huge pullback, and this is known as a gap fill, so it's trying to close this gap, and typically we might see a bounce from this point, so risking about $28, what I made on the previous trade. Um, I like these type of setups. So let's see if we can get that bounce. My stop loss is fairly tight, because, I mean, it can be in these situations. Make it even tighter here because it looks like it's bouncing. It's a lot of downward momentum, so we'll see. It looked like it will stop me out almost. Just about stop me out. There it goes. All right, it stopped me out. It could come down to this, uh, this area right here for the bounce. I probably could have gave it a little bit more room, but I didn't. All right, I am in a short position here on Tesla. Has some downwards momentum. I want to see if it's going to continue. My entry point is right there at that green line. And I have a stop loss right at the white line. What we're looking for is a flush below this point and to fall below the VWAP. There's a big gap down this morning, a big run up. It looks like it was potentially a dead cat bounce and this was around the top of it. That's what we're hoping for. Um, the MACD is very, very bearish. So let's see how this one plays out. Selling five shares at market. Okay. So I'm gonna get stopped out right there. Not too bad. I did a 20 share order you know, at 502, and then it came down all the way to 498. This is a very fast moving stock, so you got to keep your shoulders somewhat small. Oh, whoops, you know what? <laughs> I got to buy now 10, because apparently, I was still short 10 shares. That was weird. Okay, Pay close attention. Cool, all right. That brought me to $87 profit for the day. You know, there's probably a lot of opportunities out there still at this point, um, but 
I am just going to go ahead and call it quits. $87 is a is close enough to my target and I don't want to risk losing any of it. So, yeah, $87. This was a very quick day. I mean, 20 20 minutes, but I was only in trades for 5 minutes if that. So, yeah, great day. Wow. All right, till next time.